Hey everybody, welcome back to the Couch Channel. We are doing another Dungeon Beneath run. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. So I can start with Zed, who will, I believe, gain a... Uh, every time he gains power, he makes an illusion of himself, which Eloy is very good. But when an ally dies, characters... I don't really want to do that, so we're just going to do a new game. Uh, let's do Dominique. Honestly, I might need another Dungeon Beneath break just because... You know, the views have been going down on these. Oh, I hate this character. Uh, so when an ally dies, gain two power. If, they, if I do summon build, that might be useful. I have the counterfeit coins, which are two less gold for characters at my campfires. And Dominique will, as his follow-up move, restore health and is inexhaustible, which means that he does not have movement stiffness. So, let's go ahead and let's get this run going. I always take the level 2 character. When this character gains power, they also restore 1 health. I don't know if I'll keep them. Change lanes at the end of the round. I, mean, I probably should have moved Dominic down there to heal the follower, but oh well. Because the boss is going to... Oh, no, he's not. Dum dum dum. Da -da -da. Da -da. All right. Now we got lots and lots and lots of... Because these guys only one. So... Go ahead and... So this is really just a free character upgrade. Because he's got the same stats, but he was summoned that Bloodshade. So let's see if we can go ahead and find somebody to replace you with. Eh. Don't really have like a... Killing Slimes... Or fighting skeleton mob. Oh, let's kill some slimes. I usually go for the fighting the skeleton summons the bone piles. So every time an ally dies, we'll gain one health. Let's do this. to redo this, I'm not sure. Reset powder. Okay, think it through this time. When I'll, okay, I want you here killing slimes. That's better. Because I want the person with the seven health to tank. Let's put you down there so that we can start killing. And let's just go ahead and move you up here. Because you need to start healing that guy. Oh, no, never mind. Death comes to us all. Uh, I guess the dwarf is probably the one I'm most likely to take. Three more coins. Well, you know what? The coins are going to go a lot farther with those fake coins. So let's just uh, focus on the money. I still feel like I should get more than three, though. I want the developers to hear that. I think I should get more than three. When Ally Beast dies, summon a die right. Okay, so. I really want to make sure I can kill that stupid rat. Now, 
I gotta go down here. And you might be thinking, oh god, it's gonna take forever to get through that. Well, no, I'm gonna spawn that shade thing and I'm gonna start doing massive damage every round to the boss with it. Oh, nope, because they are going to... Well, I don't think it's possible for me to lose this fight. But it's just annoying as hell. And I don't want ghosts to start spawning either. I need to go up there and heal... No, I don't, because I just won. See? Annoying, but very doable. There we go. I don't feel like I'm going to recruit anybody else this floor. So, off of me. Enemy heroes will attack. Enemy has speed. Three health is not terrible. They have a lot of... I'll go... I don't remember what this one does, so... This one is give allied beasts one health. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dang it. Did I seriously just wander into something terrible already? That guy's dead. There's not much I can do about that. Uh. Okay. Uh, reset because I don't think we're going. To... Well, yes, we will. I will take three, but I will win. Damn it. I also just lost the guy I wanted to. It's not great. Go ahead and pump up the battle mage. And we have a lot of gold, so let's buy some keys. And I have to fight this guy, and this guy is whenever any character dies, gain one attack. <sighs> and the environment's going to continuously summon bone piles for him. Okay, the mage guy is almost certainly going to die. What we need to do is put damage on to okay. So, based on the attack order, Lizard Man goes first, kills the skeleton. Your attack was up to three. Then skeleton breaks the shield, then skeleton hits the mage in the front. I don't think there's any amount of healing I can do based on how many are going to die that's going to keep them alive. So don't waste that. Then five is the dwarf will kill the bone pile. The mage will kill him, deal full damage to you. He'll hit him. The best thing to do, even though it will waste healing, is to put more damage on that skeleton and clear the middle row. Which gives me power, which is unfortunately eaten up by that. But... I will kill him with the sanguine person, so it's okay. There you go. Oh, I had to defeat all enemies, but I don't care about that because I was... The guy's eight... I don't care about that because the guy's attack power was going up too far too fast. So, you have five hit points into attack. Still only gain shield, but whatever. Good gear. What's some good gear? 
I'm not going to keep him, so I don't want to buy that expensive bow because I might not have. Deal one damage to a random enemy as a counter is not bad for my dwarf. Eight speed is also not terrible. Just go buy this and nothing else. So you go summon a goblin archer every single round. These guys are going to change lanes every single round. Alright. Oh, he can't. That stupid commanding orb has a. You will survive that and get that. You will not survive long enough to be healed, so I need to ignore you. I need to heal you. No, I need to heal you because you're almost going to die. And then we'll have to see where we are. try but I think we might need to reset this we're gonna to need to reset this this does not seem to be I don't know this fight is wonderful so first of all you need to move to a lane where you're more likely to have a place to open up you need to move down here we need to put enough damage on here to where I know that you're probably going to be able to kill these guys God, I just lost the dwarf. And I'm probably going to lose them. I think I just lost. Oh, well. Shoot. That's interesting. I got to take two. Oh god, no, this is... Well... Nothing I can do. I am so unhappy. Do I even want to try again this episode? It's going to be really short. Do I want to try again? Let's mystery figure it out. Maybe it'll be good. Oh my god. I have Xandos the Third's alternate who gets attack for every four gold but has zero base. Good lord almighty. And you who are poisonous and inexhaustible. I also have the summoner blood thingy. When a non-ally dies, summon two blood wisps. Well, that's not good. What you got? When this character kills an enemy, attack again. This is going to be more of my stupidity. Which some of you guys seem to like watching, so... So, you attack again when you kill something. So, let's go ahead and take out these bone piles. Yeah. this Overall, this will do more damage to them. His HP is low enough to where I do not need to worry about putting the poison on him. What do you do again? Summon a bone pile as a follow-up. Well, screw you. I guess we can try a poison build, but I don't feel very confident about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to try poison build because, uh... We got him. He is also poisonous, but he is, uh... 
poison character. Dang. I'm gonna do it. I feel okay about this. He gains armor. You... Why do you still have one attack? I just spent all my gold. Must be a display or it'll be back to zero. An ally dies. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Let's try this. Are you inexhaustible? No. Let's see. Well, that's better. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. It ain't pretty, but it's gonna work, and I don't care. Okay, I might have the makings of something here. First of all, drink up. Second of all, I don't need gold. I need items. I need, well, I need specific. Is it better to take three gold or just hope for a helpful item? Uh, that's a very helpful item. I'll take two attack. That means his damage output just went up significantly. When ally dies, we'll summon a destroy the treasure chest. We'll summon a dire rat. Here's the issue. I don't... You're inexhaustible, so let's just put you here. Yeah, here's the thing. I don't think I have the, uh... I need to bring you down here. Until you can heal. But now you're going to die. So I'm going to unexhaust move you. This is unnecessarily complex. Okay. I'm okay sacrificing him to get through to you. You are not, none of you guys are inexhaustible. And don't forget that you do get the blood things when you. Okay. Yeah, and I just need to defend the archer so he can get the uh, XP potion. Doesn't matter. You tank that and we win. That's not bad. It's going to be a lot bloody, but if I can get this team powered up, maybe I can do something. Technically, I want you here because you will spread out the damage through all that. I don't want to go to a campfire. Is there any decent bargain I can take? You gain armor, but you hit too hard. You counter, which I can't do either.
I mean, all we have, I have, and it gives me two attack, remember? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so he's going to just protect the archer to get him up to... rather sacrifice him because the poison's gonna hurt you a ton uh yeah I'm okay with that yeah no you're you're done Bye bye. If I can give him something that lets him poison, this guy gets to hit more, then that's pretty good. There you go. You get to level two, which means you gain two hit points and your damage. Oh, that's a huge output in damage. You should be. Yeah, your attack's now three. Although I'm about to buy keys, so your attack's going to go down. I don't really care. I don't really care for this guy either, but he summons a bat at the end of every round. Oh, dadgummit! The bats move so fast. I can tank a little. tank a lot. You are inexhaustible, so I'm going to go ahead and let you heal. Let's take out that bail. I think we're gonna have to reset after this and try to come up with a better plan. to come up with a better plan. Okay. Let's try this again. Hang on. Destroy the treasure chest. I need to ignore that. So let's put you down here. The problem is that I can't... I need to put you here so you guys would tear through that. The problem is that he can't really... Let's move you here so that you will kill the bat and heal the guy instantly too. This may be better. I don't know. My issue is that I can't move you now because mm, I think we just lost.
because he's going to have an unlimited wave of bats that he can summon, unfortunately. Yeah. I think that there was a better way for me to do this, and I think that I don't understand what I should have done. Oh, gosh. Why am I so bad at this game? I'm not bad at the game. I'm just terrible at the higher difficulty. Yeah, because now the bats and the bone piles are going to overwhelm me. Never retreat. Never surrender. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it, it does matter because it would buy me a little more time. But not much more time. Dang, I really thought that poison build might be decent. But their HPs are just too low. Well. Maybe it's time for a break. I don't know. I'll see you next time.